My most recent publication is a book called God in Cosmic History. And it's an attempt to retell the universe story from the Big Bang through galaxy formation and the appearance of stars and planets. And then, of course, the development of life and the evolution of life all the way up to human life. And uh, the history of human civilization as we can reconstruct it through paleontology and the rise of city-states. And take a look at those chapters in human history where religion developed, language, and religion and culture and try to demonstrate how at every stage of this history we have to ask the God question. If we're going to be honest about the facts. And I think that two and a half millennia ago God visited human consciousness and elicited from within us a sense of transcendence and a sense of ultimacy. It is within that setting then that the great religions of the world, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Zoroastrianism, and Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, and uh, some of the Chinese uh, and Indian religious traditions develop because of an awareness that this physical world is not all there is. <laughs> There's a great deal more than that. And it's within that setting then in ancient Israel that uh, the New Testament story of God's promise of redemption arises. And it's within that setting that the great mystics of uh, India uh, have begun to pass on their experience. And so what I want to do is I want to say to those who would like to interpret reality in the strictest reductionist scientific and materialist sense, they're not asking all the right questions. And I'm going to try to crack open the nut, so to speak, to get the God question back on the scientific and historical agenda.